What is up everybody, Shawnee D Man here and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Bring you a brand new video. Uh, I was just doing some videos the other day and I was just thinking about conference realignment because with the you know news about you know potentially going to 12 teams in a college football playoff format, I was just thinking about how how I would set set my well, I guess this isn't really me. Well it is, but I move some teams around. But maybe I should do a video where I kind of make up my own power five teams that would be pretty sorry if you hear that it's my dog barking but uh maybe I, oh man that would be that would be pretty cool maybe i'll do that in a later video but this video is is how i would set one up currently uh and then maybe i'll do a video where how i de ideal uh power five conferences will look like for me so uh a lot of these teams, that the way I set it up was more based on geographic than it is. Um, I figured that would be a pretty best thing to do. So the first up is the Pac-12. Uh, so right now the Pac-12 are at 12 teams. So I, I, I could have I left it at 12 or gave it four. I tried to make it even across the board where each conference had 14. Now the hardest part was the Big 12, which you'll see here in a little bit. Um, just because... There's not a lot of teams that you can really pull uh, whose markets are really, television markets aren't as great as some of these other teams. So, for the Pac-12, so the Pac-12 South, we got USC, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, Arizona State, UCLA, and Colorado State. I just went ahead. Now, Colorado State, I could have just moved over into the Big 12, honestly. Um, that or see, that was the tough part trying to figure this out is like, how would I, what's the best fit? And uh, Colorado was already in the big, the pack 12. So I just figured just to shift them over, uh, into the pack in the pack 12 South and the pack 12 North, obviously you see Oregon, Washington, Cal, Oregon state, Washington state, Stanford. And I added Boise state to the pack 12 North. That way you get you know, three premier teams, Washington, Boise State, and Oregon. Now, Stanford, Cal, and Oregon State, Washington State, those teams could be really good teams. Um, but Oregon, particularly Oregon and USC, they need a little bit more teams to be good than what they have now. Um, I think Because I, I do think the Pac-12 is in a position to become better under new leadership, depending on which direction they go. Uh so I do think they could potentially be a better conference uh, in, in the near future. So that's the Pac-12. So ACC, same thing. So I, and I'll get more. Like I said, some of these are based on geographic. So for the ACC, for the Coastal Division, we got Miami, North Carolina, Virginia Tech, Virginia, Duke, Georgia Tech, Pitt, per usual. However, in the Atlantic, I actually added West Virginia. I took Boston College out. And added West Virginia, uh, just because it's just it made no sense to me why Virginia West Virginia was in the Big 12, it's just completely out of the way kind of conference. Now West Virginia, honestly, originally I was gonna put them in the Big 10, uh, but I decided not to. So I have them here in the Big uh, in the ACC um, Atlantic Division, along with Clemson and Florida State. And now it was West Virginia that kind of gives me, again, a third team to be, between them and Louisville, maybe North Carolina State, where they could be potentially the third best team inside that particular division. Um, so, that is, so that is what that looks like. Next up is the Big Ten. So Big Ten is interesting because with the 12-team playoff coming, I added Notre Dame to the Big Ten, and I put them in the opposite. So, Notre Dame, Indiana, Wisconsin, Illinois, Purdue. I added Cincinnati from the ACC, not ACC, but the uh, AAC, uh, and Northwestern. So, I added Cincinnati just because I needed to keep it balanced. Uh, and I think Cincinnati could be a pretty good program who could benefit from being in the Big Ten. Notre Dame, same thing, because I think Notre Dame should join a conference. And it just makes sense for them to join the Big Ten. 
uh, just because they're in the Big Ten territory. And I don't know why, again, I don't know why Notre Dame is playing ACC teams when they should really be playing Big Ten teams. Because uh, so, in this particular division, and uh, you can look at the West, the West Division also, uh, with Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, Michigan State, Maryland, Rutgers, and I had a Boston College, just because, again, Boston College, in my opinion, is more in the Big Ten territory. Uh, so, because both these, so you got Notre Dame, Indiana, Wisconsin, maybe Cincinnati, maybe Northwestern, that's the four best teams in that side of the, of the division, of the conference. And then you got Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, uh, and then whoever else, whether it's Michigan State, whether it's Maryland, Rutgers, Boston College, to vie for that fourth spot in that particular side of the conference. And uh, Big 12, uh, again, so in the East, we got Texas, TCU. I had a, So the reason I added Oklahoma State was because I didn't feel like, so originally I had Oklahoma State and Nebraska in the other side with uh, Oklahoma, but I felt like that would have been too power heavy. And the eastern eastern side wouldn't have been as competitive uh, in a in a Big Ten championship in a Big Twelve championship game. So that's why I kind of added Nebraska and Oklahoma State to that particular side was Texas. Uh, that way, even Kansas State or Baylor or TCU, some of those teams could be a little bit better and you know actually have a fighting chance to win their particular side of the, of the division. I just moved Iowa down because they already have Iowa State in the in the Big 12. So I just went ahead and just moved them down into the Big 12 also. I moved Louisiana Lafayette up into the Big 12. That way that gives them an, also the Louisiana market along with LSU. Uh, and then obviously Texas Tech, Oklahoma, and Kansas. And last but not least, the SEC is pretty – there's no, there's really no big change with the SEC. Honestly, all I did was switch Auburn and Missouri. Uh, that's basically it. That's all I did was just switch those two teams because that just made the most sense. I know everybody has been talking about it for a while about Auburn moving over into the East. So now, because now what that does is you have Auburn, Georgia, Florida as the particular, partic you know, the particularly three big best teams in that side: Alabama, LSU. A&M in the West. So you can still keep the Iron Bowl rivalry at the end of the season. And heck, you who knows? You could even have them playing in the SEC Championship game against each other. Who knows? Uh, but that is what I have uh, set up for this. Now, see, now I kind of want to make a video where I talk about how I would how I would set one up. This is just me taking what I already have and just mixing and matching. So I may do a video where if you guys want me to do it, I may do it where I kind of just make up my own Power 5 conferences and things like that. But that is it for uh, for this video, you guys. You guys hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, hit that notification button. Stay tuned. A lot more content coming out. If you haven't been caught up with the state of the conference that I've done, uh, that should be either at the end of this video or at the beginning where you can click on the card. Um, I also do Auburn Podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, just stay up, stay up to date. A lot more content coming. And until then, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.